Good morning, STM. A couple of important announcements from guidance. Student timetables for the 2022-2023 school year will be made available on your MyPath account this upcoming Monday, June the 20th at noon. Your timetable will be tentative and is subject to change, so please check it periodically for any updates. Guidance counselors will be available for timetable changes during the exam week. The online booking system for guidance appointments will open up also on Monday, beginning at 3.30 p.m. Please note the following regarding guidance appointments during the exam break. Priority for timetable changes will be given to students that have a conflict on their schedule. That is, for example, if you are going into grade 9, 10, or 11, and you have a spare on your timetable, this is a conflict. Students going into grade 11 or 12 next year will have, uh, next year have been assigned either a period two, three, or four lunch. If you have a period two lunch on your schedule, this is not an error, and lunch change requests will not be made, so please do not waste your time. Please do not book a guidance appointment during your scheduled exam. If you miss your appointment, it will be canceled and you will need to book in September. Please only schedule your appointment with your current grade level counselor. Only students with a schedule appointment will be seen. Please do not call or email your counselor with timetable change requests as they will not be made. Finally, if you do not get an appointment during the exam break, you will be able to make timetable changes in September once classes resume. On another note, registration for summer school will be held in person on June 30th, July 4th, and 5th at Bishop Bryan High School. You will need to book an appointment with a summer school guidance counselor in order to register. The link to book your appointment will be posted on your guidance counselor's LMS page. Please do not delay as spots will fill up quickly. A lot of information to digest this morning, STM. Have a great day. Good morning, STM. I just have a few um, items of information for you just to clarify a few things. We've been getting some questions from students, so we just wanted to answer some of those questions in case it applies to you. Uh, first of all, regarding exams, we haven't had a formal exam period in a long time. And students have actually been asking how that works. Um, and in most cases, I'm, I'm sure teachers have clarified, but we're just going to repeat it just in case. So Tuesday, you'll be writing your period one exam, Wednesday's period two exam, Thursday's period three exam, etc. So you would arrive in the morning like you would normally do. It might be a good idea to arrive a little earlier in the morning so that you are on time for your exam. Um, regarding exams in special locations, so there are some students that are writing in different locations and have different circumstances for their exams. If you are an English language learner who normally works with Mr. Galliani or Ms. Danielowitz, you will write your exam in class and then you will be escorted to the library to, if you require extra time. In some cases, the teacher might just keep you in um, the actual classroom for extra time, but you are entitled to be escorted to the library for extra time if necessary. If you have an IEP, uh, please try to arrive uh, in resource room 217 um, as early as you can by 8 o'clock and you will, be, um, you will be given information about where to write in your alternate setting in resource and you will be um, entitled to extra time as well. We also have a handful of students writing in student success. If you are scheduled to write in student success, if we have spoken to you already about that, uh, please arrive at regular time or as early as you can and just go directly to student success and we will handle the exam, the uh, textbook collection, etc. Uh, another, um, oh and if you have, if you need any tips for your exams, there are a lot of study tips on the Students Helping Students um, LMS page run by our prefects. So check that out for lots of information about how to study, how to get organized, etc. Lots of great stuff there. We've also had some questions regarding the literacy test. Normally we would have had results by now, but that is not the case this year. We have, we've been checking every single day, we've inquired, the results have not been released yet. 
So if you have any concerns, particularly those students who rewrote the test and are in grade 11 and are expecting the results and not sure whether to take OLC, if you are really concerned about um, the literacy test result, please make an appointment with your guidance counselor and they will possibly add the OLC to your timetable if they deem that necessary. We will let you know as soon as the results come in. We're expecting them any day now. Thanks very much. Good morning, STM. My name is Claire. And my name is Sarah, and here are your announcements for today. Thank you to all the students who participated in the University of Guelph Science Olympics this year. Congratulations to our senior team for winning first place in the Mars Lander mission, Michele Italiano, Sammy Abbas, Michael Turco, and jo Joey Pulati. Also, congratulations to our junior team for winning first place in Food with Function, Emilio Leard, Alexis Orlana, Remus Hamuda, and Dima Obeid. Please come to room 352 sometime today to see Ms. Ivanak, Ms. Newberry, or Ms. Pereira to get your prize. A reminder to all cross-country members of a brief picture session today after school in the gym. The Arts Department is going to Disney. There's a meeting today immediately after school in the lecture hall for anyone interested in the trip next year. If you cannot attend the meeting, please see Mr. Buckvick in room 328 sometime before Friday. This message is for students who are writing their final exam with resource. Please report to the library at 8 a.m. on the day of your exam. If you have any questions, please come by room 217 prior to exam day. Thanks, STM. STM, that's all of your announcements. The time is now 8.21. Have, have a great, a great day. day.